What's up guys, it's Amanda. So today, ooh, you're a little blurry, hold on. So today I thought I would just start like a vlog. I don't know what this is gonna be. I'm at my office right now and today's my day off, but I came in to wax my legs. I'm gonna heat everything up right now. I think I waxed my lower legs maybe six weeks ago now. I don't know, I think it was like right before Easter. So I did my lower legs and then I went to European Wax Center to do my upper legs just because it's kind of harder for me to get my thighs and stuff and I also got my butt waxed. I mean, I know I can do the front, it's just the back that's harder. My hair on the back of my thighs grows kind of weird and it's like thicker and I get a lot of ingrowns back there just because like I'm always sitting. So I have my Star Pill Roll-On Wax carts. They look like this. They're just roll-on waxes. I offer roll-on wax for legs and arms and then everything else I do hard wax. That should be ready in about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it sit here while I wait. Set timer for 20 minutes. That's a great angle. So I just got my package from Spot Order today. I did an unboxing on my Instagram, but I just got a new dermaplaning handle and some blades so I'm gonna do it on myself just because I've been waiting and wanted to try out these blades I've tried blades from Amazon I think just Amazon but I've tried like a bunch of different ones and they're just not as sharp as I'd want them to be so I've heard a lot of good things about spot order so I got these and I'm gonna try them out today I'm really excited so what I'm gonna do first before our dermaplane is do some extractions. I already did my double cleanse at home, so my face is clean and ready to go. So I'm gonna do my ultrasonic scrubber and do my extractions, and then I'm going to dermaplane my face. So I'm just gonna get my face a little damp so that the scrubber can work. You don't wanna do it on dry skin. I'm giving myself my own little facial. And I'm gonna take my nose ring out. Ow, and put that down here. This is what the handle looks like, and then these are the blades. They're already sterile and prepackaged, so I just attach this to the handle and start dermaplaning. I prefer to do dry dermaplaning, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have my little gauze right here, so I'm just gonna get started. skin feels amazing she's a little red just because i'm more on the sensitive side so i kind of get red right after but my skin feels so soft i'm obsessed and i'll show you guys everything that came off of my face hopefully you guys can see that it's so hard to see on camera i'm gonna take a picture with my phone and insert it okay i don't know if you guys can see it better on my phone but this is everything that came off of my face isn't that crazy? So there's all of the peach fuzz and dead skin that came off of my face. So now my skin is super soft, baby smooth. Makeup application goes on a lot better and it just overall makes your skin super glowy. The dermaplaning removes weeks of built up dead skin cells. So all of that was sitting on my face. Once you do the dermaplaning, then you see everything that was removed and that's just weeks and weeks of built up dead skin cells that is harder to just get rid of from cleansing your face. So doing like a deep exfoliation like dermaplaning really helps remove all of that excess layer from your skin. And now my skincare products will penetrate deeper into my skin. My makeup will lay very like smooth and flawless on my skin. It helps brighten your skin and lots of great benefits. So I highly recommend if you guys are in Arizona, I'm located in Mesa. So you can always DM me on Instagram. I'll leave it right up here for you guys. 
But yeah, so now that I'm done derma planning, I'm going to set up all of my wax. It's heated up, so I'm just going to get my station cleaned up and set up for my wax. So update, I did my leg wax. After I did my derma planning, I put on a mask. I did the Dermalogica Colloidal Mask Base. So just put that on to help my skin cool and hydrate the skin. Um, and then I did my Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream as my moisturizer right on top. And then I did my leg wax. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. Let me pull up my pants. My legs are all smooth now. They feel so much better. I still need to like clean everything up, but that was my little station I was working at. And I also have a microblading artist that works with me, so she works in this room as well. And... Yeah, it's just a cute little room. I do have this like big eyebrow sticker I want to put right here, but I haven't done it yet just because I need help. I'm usually here alone or with a client, so I just haven't had like Noah come and help me do it yet. Also, my hair is so long. I'm thinking about cutting it, but I really don't know what to do. I've been wanting to grow it out for so long and it's finally super, super long, but I feel like I could definitely trim it. She's a little dead at the end, so... I don't know, I'm thinking about chopping it, especially for the summer, and I live in Arizona now, and it's gonna be super hot here, so I'm like, oh, it might be good for my hair to just have a nice trim, but I love how long it is. It literally almost pretty much touches my butt. Leave me a comment if I should cut it, or I was thinking about just getting some Olaplex and treating it with that. I've never used it before, but I've heard really, really good things about it, and I heard like it actually does repair your hair so I'm like oh if I could just like make my hair healthy again without cutting it even though I probably should cut it because I have split ends and split ends just end up like traveling up the hair so I don't know this is my current dilemma I keep going back and forth I'd rather like have healthy hair than just long dead ugly hair so let me know in the comments what you think I should do I have to be back here tomorrow um, for a 10 a.m. fill with my stepmom and then a 4.30 lash lift and brow henna. I'm really excited. One of my friends. So that will be fun. Do you guys want to see my office real quick? I'll give like a mini, mini tour. Just run through everything real quick. But let me know if you guys want like a super in-depth tour. Sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm still getting used to like vlogging again. Here's the front door. And so when you come in the front door... You see a little table, chair. This is my little desk reception area. Super cute. This wall right here, I'm gonna add some menus. I already got the frames at home, but I need to make all the prints. But, but then over here is my retail section for all of my Dermalogica products. I love this area, it's so cute. I have a little chalkboard that lights up. And then this is my lash room. I have my ear piercing certificate. This is where I do my ear piercings. And then this is where I do my lashes. I do lash lifts, lash extensions, and brow laminations in here, just because I keep all of my supplies in this little guy. Again, let me know if you guys want in-depth tour. I'd love to do that, because I get questions all the time where all my stuff is from. And then over here is my facial room. So this is where I do just facials. So... This is where I keep all of my products and towels and supplies, peels and stuff, and all of my like implements. Um, I have my towel warmer, steamer, cute little sign, facial cart, and my bed, and a cute mirror. I love this room. It's so cute. So that's my facial room, and then I just showed you guys my wax room, but the sign says good vibes only. Again, this is my wax room and microblading artist room. This is my storage. She's a little messy right now, so don't judge me. Um, but I wanna like make this cuter. It's just all my cleaning supplies and stuff like that. And then I just have like extra towels right here that I literally never use. I got them on Amazon, but I wash them. I've washed them several times. And I was using them for my facials, but when I would like wipe my client's face, they'd get like black fuzz on them. And I hated that. Like, nobody wants to come to a facial and get black fuzz on their face. So, it was so annoying. I'd have to, like, pick it off their face. So, I ended up switching to white towels, which, game changer. Um, 
But yeah, this is my little like disinfection station, all my distilled water. I keep my vacuums down here, and then this is my microblading artist's um, tables and chair and stuff. I have a mini fridge. I keep little mini waters in here for my clients after their facials. Um, I learned that in school, and people really love that, so I always give my facial clients water. And then my tripod for my DSLR camera whenever I film. So we just put up this little... Um, curtain just because it looks a lot better not seeing all that crap there because it's just kind of ugly and messy so I wanted to hide it we decided on gray just because it's a little like subtle and neutral rather than doing the pink and I have pink in both those rooms um I have my barbicide certificate up there so people can kind of see that and it's right next to this area so it kind of made sense and then this is my bathroom I have a towel right here I was just using that but um, I need to restock on paper towels and yeah, this is my little, look how cute this sign is. And yeah, this is my little bathroom. But yeah, that's my whole office. Leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want a um, salon tour. I'm sure this clip will be continued into whatever's next, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Ow, I just hit myself in the face. What's up guys? I look crazy right now i know i'm in the middle of doing a brow lamination it's the next day i had my 10 a.m fill with my stepmom this morning and then i did errands to go to the bank and then i got lunch and what else did i do oh i've been editing my vlog i edited all of yesterday's footage so that's ready to go my vlog is like 15 minutes oh 17 minutes already so that's pretty good so i thought i would just continue it doing my brow lamination so my brows are sitting right now i have let's see i have a minute and a half left and then i'm going to take this off and do the next step but i thought i would just continue my vlog i was thinking of making this like a weekly vlog but i feel like my vlog's already at 17 minutes and i feel like if i do another like five days of vlogging i'm gonna have too much footage so i might just make that like a couple days worth of a vlog and then start a new one. So I'm just waiting for my brows to finish and then I have a lash lift and brow henna tint today. This is my little outfit of the day. I thought I would show you because it's super cute, but I got this at Q. It's kind of like a Forever 21, but it's just called Q. And this is my little outfit. It's a two-piece set, but it's a little matching set. It's super cute. And these are actually shorts. But it has like a little skirt thing in the front. And then my little boots are from... I don't even know where these are from, honestly. I can't remember. I think they might be Matisse or Steve... Oh my gosh, no. These are Steve Madden. I remember now. But yeah, that's my little outfit of the day. Oh, she's done. Perfect timing. I'm gonna look in the mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. Let me throw this away. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the excess lotion. I actually tried something new today. I ended up not using the glue, because usually you do the glue step one, but I heard that you can do the lamination without using the glue and get the same results. So I thought I would try that today and see how they last. But they actually look pretty good without using the glue. I'm going to put on the last step of the lotion and then do my Sobran wrap. Now I'm going to do the fixing lotion, apply this to my brows. And that will be second to last step. I'll let these sit for about seven minutes and then I'll do the nourishing oil on top and then I'll be all done. Now I'm gonna put on the saran wrap right over okay now i'm gonna let this sit for seven minutes 
and then I'll take that off and do the nourishing oil. All right, guys, I just finished my brow lamination. So happy with it. I don't know if you guys can, oh, there, there you can kind of see. Um, I just put the nourishing oil on and I'm just kind of brushing that through. You just want to wait 24 hours before you get them wet or anything so that the solutions can sit. They look kind of crazy right now. I need to trim and tweeze them, but they are laminated. Now I just need to set up for my next client, my last client, and then I'll be done for the day. Okay, friends, I am going to show you guys how I set up for... My next appointment i'm doing a brow henna and lash lift so i'm going to show you everything i use to do that first things first i need a towel and i'm going to place that on the pillow okay next i'm going to set up my station so first i'm going to need a dental bib and i'm going to plop that guy right here so this is my lash lift kit it's from live bay so i'm going to grab all of the things out of here this is hard to do with one hand. That was way too hard to set up with one hand and record. So I put everything out and I'll show you guys everything that I used. So first I'm gonna clean her lashes and brows with my lash shampoo. I use this for cleansing before lash extensions, lash lifts, and I can use this on the brows to clean them. And then I just have my distilled water to rinse everything off. And to clean the brows, I use a spoolie and to clean the lashes, I use lip wands. And then I have a tweezer, glue, eye shields, um, a little lash lift tool, and another lash lift tool. I have the lifting lotion, the fixing lotion, and the nourishing oil. And then I apply those with my little um, microfiber brushes. And then I also dispense those into the glue ring so then I can actually double dip because you don't want to cross contaminate. And then I have two pieces of my saran wrap laid out, one for the lifting lotion and one for the fixing lotion. I forgot to show you guys, I also use the Next Care Sensitive Skin Tape for taping down the bottom lashes when I do my lash lift so that the bottom ones aren't in the way. I don't know why it's not focusing, it's the best tape. I also use this for my eyelash extensions. But over here, this is my brow henna kit. So I just have like my cotton rounds in there. This is the brow cleanser. And then I have the um, fixing lotion. This is what I mix in with the henna. And then I have henna remover just in case I make any mistakes or need to take some off. The remover works well. And then I have my little pre-inked mapping string and I'll just use this to map out her eyebrow shape that she wants. And then I have all of my hennas in here. I think we use number four on her. I get all of my brow henna stuff from Supercilium. I think that's how you say it. They're a great brand, I really love them. And then I have my brush in here to actually apply the henna and then my little mixing cup. So once I get the lash lift going, I'll bring all of this over and when her lash lift is sitting, I'll start doing the brows so I can do them at the same time. I'll show you guys my favorite air freshener. It's from um, the Dollar Tree. It's amazing. And it's the Sure Sense Angel Blossom. It's just the pink air freshener, but oh my gosh, it literally smells incredible. And it's only a dollar, so I like stock up on these all the time. And I just spray my whole office with these, literally. Like, smells so, oh shit. <laughs> Got it all over my side. Oh no, I need to wipe that down. Okay, she's nice and clean again. That's about it. I'm just gonna hang out and maybe make a post or something while I wait for her, use the restroom, just get all situated before she comes. And yeah. Good morning, guys. So today is Saturday, it's the next day. I just got to the office and I'm going to set up everything for my full set. So I just turned on the air and now I'm gonna turn on my little humidifier. So I'll show you guys how I set up everything. I actually got a package from Live Bay. Here's my package from Live Bay. I'm just gonna open her up. All right, we got my receipt, their little menu, fortune cookie. I got this little like poster thingy picture. And I got an iPad and a free spoolie. They always throw in an iPad, which is nice. Don't forget while you are making everyone feel beautiful, 
to make yourself feel beautiful too the world needs the best version of you cute so my actual order <laughs> was some lashes i got 0.03 d curls in 12 millimeter and 13 millimeter i needed a brand new box of 12s and a brand new box of 13 so i'm all stocked up on those and then i also got a brand new glue i think i got two glues actually let me open them sweet so I got a new um, sheer pink glue. This is really great for sensitive clients. My stepmom is actually a sensitive client, so I used this one on her. But it doesn't have the siren acolyte in it, which makes the glue black. So that's usually the ingredient that people can be like sensitive or allergic to. So this is the sheer pink one. I know they have brown and blue, I believe, but I like the pink. It goes with my brand colors. And then I got a new Magnetic Vibe. This is my favorite glue. I also really liked the Mega Bond, the banana scent one. But I don't know, I've always just come back to this one. All of their glues are amazing. I think it's just personal preference. But the Magnetic Vibe's really cool. It like literally sticks onto the lash like a magnet. And then I always use my Climax Bonder after I'm finished with my full sets and my fills. Um, but these two are one of my favorite duos. Now I'm gonna set up for my full set with all of my little new products. So what I'm gonna do to set up is take out a dental bib and put that up there. I'll set you guys over here so you can kind of watch me set up. So I have everything set up for my full set. I have my distilled water and lash shampoo and lip brush for my lash bath. And then after that, I dry the lashes with a spoolie, my fan, and then I have my glue rings, my glue wipe, my glue. I have my bonder, my micro brushes to apply the bonder, and then I have my mapping pen and my lashes and four pieces of tape to tape over the iPad and I don't have the iPad out yet because I keep them in this little mini fridge to keep them nice and cold so it feels really good when I put that on my client and they get like a mini eye facial there's my little towel over my pillow for all my first time clients I give them a lash bath and a brush to take home to do their aftercare so then there's no excuse to not wash the lashes since I gave them free aftercare products. Also on my way to the office, I stopped at the Dollar Tree because I needed a couple things. So I got more paper towels for my bathroom. I got three of those. I got a four pack of toilet paper. And then I got five eyeshadow brushes. These are the ones I give for my cleansing aftercare kits. Um, they're just the wet and wild eyeshadow brushes and they're super super soft and fluffy so they're really gentle on the lashes. I absolutely hate those um, like wooden ones. The wooden sticks with like it's like a really hard bristled brush. They're not fluffy or soft at all so if you use those definitely switch over to like a soft eyeshadow brush. I hate those brushes so much so I highly recommend using more of a fluffy soft brush rather than those um really dense brushes those are actually meant for like comedones and actually brushing and exfoliating like your pores not meant for lash extensions so these are way more gentle and soft on the lashes so i always give these to clients for their first appointment and then a little lash bath as well so i think that's the perfect aftercare kit i don't charge them for that it comes with their full set i'm gonna go put these in my room and do my paper towels and toilet paper and then i'll get ready for my full set hey guys so i am home now please ignore my room if you see anything our room is so messy right now i was just going through like all of my clothes and doing like a poshmark pile and a goodwill donation pile so it's really messy in here and i was doing laundry the other day and i folded a bunch of stuff but nothing's like put away yet i only have four minutes left and then my memory card will be full but i just wanted to update you guys i'm getting ready for dinner right now 
I'm actually going to dinner with my dad tonight. So my dad and I are going to Outback tonight for dinner. I think I've been there like maybe twice. I don't even know. Um, oh shit. But yeah, we're going to Outback and we're just gonna have like a father-daughter dinner because I moved to Arizona in November of 2020 and it's now almost June. And I'm pretty sure we haven't had like a father-daughter date yet. Since we haven't done it in a while, I was like, yo, let's go on a date. So he's gonna pick me up. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna do my hair. I wanted to do a time lapse, but I don't have time to like move the footage to my computer and I'm just in a rush right now. I need to get ready right now. So just wanted to update you guys. This is my little crimper I'm gonna use. Got her on Amazon. She's great, except she's really, really hot. So I use a glove. Then I'm gonna wear a cute little outfit. I just have this like black and white two piece set. I actually wore it to work the other day, but I'm gonna wear it again because I really don't have a lot of cute clothes and a girl needs to go shopping, but a girl needs to save her money. So we're being smart and not buying unnecessary things right now. But in the future, I need to redo my entire wardrobe because she needs help. And I still have a lot of things from like post high school, college. I don't know, I didn't really go to college, but kind of, I didn't go to like a normal four year university. So I kind of feel like I never went to college, even though I technically did. Um, but I went to community college and then beauty college. So I never did four year university. But anyway, I'm going to do my makeup, my hair, get dressed, and my dad's going to pick me up in like less than an hour. So I'm kind of rushing. So that's all I can say for now. Cause my memory card is about to be full. I will talk to you guys when I talk to you. <laughs> Thank you.